What is the purpose of the vast vacuums of space? What would have happened if space hadn't been so large? That's all coming up. The distances between bodies in the universe are staggeringly large when compared to the distances on the Earth. The longest distance we can travel on the Earth itself is 15,000 kilometers. The sun, a body we feel is quite close to us, is 10,000 times further away than that distance, fully 150 million kilometers away from our globe. Distances longer than this are measured using units called light years. This is the distance that light travels over the space in a year, adding up to 9,460,000,000,000 kilometers. The Andromeda Galaxy, the closest neighbor to our Milky Way, lies 2 million light years away from us. The universe itself contains some 100 billion more galaxies, and from this, we can see that it is beyond the capacity of our minds to imagine the vast distances that the universe encompasses. So why is the universe so large? Scientists who sought an answer to this question found that the size of the universe was another astonishing number. The vast distances between these bodies actually make the orbits of the planet stable. Calculations have shown that if these distances had been just a little larger, the gravitational force between the stars would have made the orbits unstable, leading to bodies veering from their ordinary paths. Similarly, if the distances had been just a little shorter, the heavy elements that are hurled into the universe through supernova explosions would have fallen on other stars and planets only very rarely so the Earth would have been deprived of the elements essential for life. In conclusion, the calculations done on this subject revealed an important truth. The distances between the stars which currently exist are ideal for the existence of a planetary system like our own. In his book, The Symbiotic Universe, Professor George Greenstein wrote, Had the stars been somewhat closer, astrophysics would not have been so very different. About the only difference would have been the view of the nighttime sky from the grass on which I lie, which would have been yet richer with stars. And oh, yes, one more small change. There would have been no me to do the viewing. All that waste of space. On the other hand, in this very waste lies our safety. Another use of the great distances between galaxies is to prevent giant bodies wandering through the universe from colliding with each other. If the universe was not so large, the giant meteors moving to and fro in the universe could have hit the Earth and destroyed all life on our planet.
All these balances show that the distances between the celestial bodies are ideal for human life to exist. These vast distances were not formed randomly. God created them with a certain aim. He who created the seven heavens in layers, you will not find any flaw in the creation of the All-Merciful. Look again. Do you see any gaps? The information you've seen in this film has demonstrated some important truths. The materialist philosophy that denies both the existence of God and the creation of the universe has been refuted by modern physics and astronomy. Science proves that the universe was created by God. There's a plan, an order, and a design in every single detail of the universe. God formed the ideal balances for human beings. God, the owner of endless knowledge, power, and wisdom, created the entire universe, and our duty is to recognize and appreciate this wondrous creation. For in the Quran, God addresses to people in these words. Your Lord is God, who created the heavens and the earth in six days and then settled himself firmly on the throne. He covers the day with the night, each pursuing the other urgently, and the sun and moon and stars as subservient to his command. Both creation and command belong to him. Blessed be God, the Lord of all worlds.